Do you think you know Finding Dory? Well, here's some things you may not have known about the sequel to Finding Nemo. I suffer from short-term memory loss. Yes! That's exactly what you say. <laughs> Finding Dory was not in the original plans for a Finding Nemo sequel. Originally, Disney intended to create a sequel to the 2003 film without the involvement of Pixar through their Circle 7 animation studio. However, when Circle 7 was shut down in 2006, none of its projects or scripts were ever used or picked up by Pixar. The idea to create Finding Dory actually came to Finding Nemo director Andrew Stanton while he was watching Finding Nemo for the first time in 2010, seven years after the film's release. Stanton explains that he didn't often watch his movies after their release, as he was watching them so much during the filmmaking process, but upon revisiting Nemo, he knew that there was much more to explore. As he was watching, questions arose in his mind. Quote, something got kind of lodged in the back of my brain and started to sort of stew. I started to think about how easily Dory could get lost and not find Marlin and Nemo again. I wanted to know that she could find her new family if she ever got lost again. It's almost like the parental side of me was worried. Ah, I trust Becky. You trust Becky. Becky's eating a cup. Ah. One of the most difficult aspects of the film wasn't anything technical, but was making Dory into the central character. While she worked exceedingly well as a supporting character, her short-term memory loss made it hard for her to self-reflect, which is crucial for a main character to do. In addition, writers found it difficult to make sure Dory wasn't too silly and had her moments of wisdom and seriousness. The film was released 13 years after its predecessor, but in the film's in storyline, the events of Finding Dory take place only months after Finding Nemo. Dory, California's all the way across the ocean. Then we better get going. How come every time we're on the edge of this reef, one of us is trying to leave? Because of this, Nemo's original voice actor, Andrew Gould, was too old at 22 to return to reprise his role as the titular character. Instead, 12-year-old Hayden Rollins was cast to voice Nemo before voice work even began, a secret he had to keep from all his friends and family. Even though he was replaced, Gould does return in a small cameo to voice passenger Carl in the truck scene. One of the more technical challenges animators faced while making Finding Dory came by way of Hank the Octopus, or Septopus. It was actually Hank's tentacles that provided many of the issues they faced. Animators designed Hank's body independently of his tentacles. When they went to put the pieces together, they found that only seven of the eight tentacles fit on the body. This was worked into the script instead of scrapping all the work that they had already done. In addition to the tentacle issue, Hank's skin texture and color took 22 weeks to complete. Typically, the process only takes eight weeks. In the end, a single shot of Hank took six months to create. I don't want to be touched. <laughs> Sorry. That's OK. Everybody does it. Nothing to be ashamed of. It wasn't just Hank's scenes that ended up being a labor of love. 103,639 storyboards were submitted to editorial. In comparison, only 49,651 storyboards were submitted for Toy Story 3. In the end, 289,240,840 key animation frames were created for Finding Dory. It was originally intended for the film to take place in an aquatic attractions park similar to the likes of SeaWorld. However, after the documentary Blackfish was released in 2013 and Pixar executives watched it, the setting was changed from a park to a marine biology institute. Finding Dory did exceedingly well upon release. It's one of the highest grossing films of 2016, one of the highest grossing animated films of all time, and one of the 50 highest grossing films of all time. It's also one of the highest grossing Pixar films. With a budget of $200 million, the film went on to take in a worldwide gross of almost a billion dollars. And here's a bonus one. Dory almost had an adopted sister in the film. Though according to Stanton, the decision was made to omit this. The idea was that Dory's parents also shared her short-term memory and took in another lost child while looking for her, accidentally moving on from their lost daughter. Quote, it was very hard to make them sympathetic for making that choice, even though it happened innocently. But that's how it started, says Stanton. It also would have made for a messy and confusing story for adoption, one kids might take the wrong way. Regardless, the movie made a shift and that facet of the story was dropped. Sea lions, they are natural predators. They could pounce at any moment. Uh, my, don't you worry. Oh, get off, off the rock, off. Get off. Get off. You know it. Oh, no. oh, 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 oh. That's it for this episode of You Think You Know Movies. Make sure to subscribe, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and get the latest movie and TV news on ScreenCrush.com.